hello everyone it's da here hope you guys are doing great hope you are doing amazing so while in the wake of several events and while we await the updates for the upcoming events and the upcoming warframe i decided to go ahead and take a look at harrow which is the upcoming number 33 and see what we know so far and what is a possible thing so based on dev stream number 91 one of the things we know that we've been able to identify harrow's abilities and of course know his name uh, he has abilities called condemn penance thurbo and of course war pact now i am assuming that war pact will be the ability that helps him deplete his shields and use it to grant energy to your teammates. So that is going to be one amazing thing. Condemn might be something dealing with him being able to do some damage or you know do some debuff to enemies. Penance and Thurible, I really don't know what, I don't have an idea what those abilities might be able to do as far as the game is concerned. At max rank, it will be having uh, 150 armor based on my own assumption. And one of the things that I saw is that the stats were 520 for health, 425 for power, and 780 for shield. So I am assuming that these stats that were revealed are unmodded stats, but it's a whole lot of shields. And since he was confirmed to be able to have shield conversion and be able to dish that out to other frames, if you add your shield mods to this, it may be pushing your shields all the way up to 2,000. So that is one of the reasons why I'm assuming that is a maxed or modded uh, percentage and a modded rating as far as 780 shields at rank 30. Because that wouldn't make any sense if you're going to deplete your shields to give others some energy and you only have 780 after having all your mods equipped. Another thing also that I also understand is that so while other frames that, you know, we have like Trinity being able to give us health and of course being able to give us energy and we have Nidus and Inaros being able to do the same thing and give you health and you have Oberon being able to give you health. So I guess this is DE's version of Energy Vampire, a frame being able to give you energy and I'm loving the technique so far, but I can't wait till it comes out and we can actually see how it functions and how it works and the various combination of this and other frames in multiple types of missions. I would love to see what the synergy of this and Oberon will do. Now, as far as frame slash syndicate interaction, I am also assuming that Harrow will have his own unique and special Red Veil greeting and Red Veil interaction whenever you go into the relays or whenever you go in and have an interaction with a Red Veil Spectre or Red Veil Sentinel. However, the question I have though is that being part of the Red Veil, is it going to make the quest easy if you're already part of the Syndicate and you're aligned with the Syndicate? And also, do you get some buff when you combine Harrow with some of your Syndicate weapons and some of your Syndicate mods? Because that would make a whole lot of logical sense. Maybe you have an increase, maybe a 5% increase or a 10% increase in damage or buff if you are using a Red Veil equipped weapon and you are also using a red veil frame in combination with that and last but not the least should the syndicates be able to come after you due to you being affiliated with an opposed or an enemy of the red veil or will using harrow stop that because if we want to take a look at whenever the red veil sends an enemy after you they send the infested charger they send the eximus units so being that arrow will have the power over a lot of those and you are affiliated with the red veil what I'm trying to figure out is, are they still going to send someone after you, even though you are using a Red Veil affiliated frame? If you have an idea as far as how that would go, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you would love to see more on this channel, hit that subscribe button, share the video. As always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you in the next one.